What is going on guys, my name is Baron of Developer B, and welcome back to episode 23 of the Bucky Coding tutorial series. And first off, I would just like to quickly say that I apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I've been really busy with school and lacrosse, because I play lacrosse for my high school and other things, so I'm sorry about that. It's been a really busy month or so, and I'm going to try and get back into making more videos eventually. I'm going to put out around three to four videos this in these upcoming days because I have a little bit of time to do that, but I'm going to try and stick to one video a week maybe and see how that goes. And after this lacrosse season and maybe during the summer, I will be able to make some more videos and upload more frequently, maybe a video every day or a video every other day. So I apologize for that. I'm going hard and hopefully I will be able to make more videos. So let's go ahead and get right into this episode. And this is going to be custom crafting recipes. And we are going to implement this new thing that we're learning into a plugin called Obsidian Defense. And it's pretty much going to be a plugin which you can make obsidian armor and make obsidian through crafting. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. And there are two different types of recipes if you know what crafting is. There's a shapeless recipe, which I don't think anything in Minecraft is a shapeless recipe unless it's like a diamond block or something, or a shaped recipe, which is like your sword or anything else pretty much. Everything else is pretty much a shaped recipe, but we're gonna make a shapeless recipe and it's pretty much you can put an item anywhere in the containers of the crafting table and it will make the item based on anywhere you put it. It doesn't matter where you put the items. You just place them in any random order and it will make it. And a shaped recipe is you have to have a specific shape that you specify. And I'll teach you guys how to do that today. Let's go ahead and get right into the episode. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our results. So we're gonna create some item stacks and these can actually be completely custom and you could change the name and everything just like we did in the customizable item stacks and you know how we've been creating item stacks before. But the ingredients that you need have to be basic Minecraft materials. So like a diamond or obsidian, you can't specify, like make custom items, do stuff. So we're pretty much gonna create a sword. We're gonna make an obsidian sword and we're gonna make an obsidian helmet. So these are gonna be our two item stacks. So just make a diamond sword. Of course, there isn't an obsidian sword in Minecraft, so we're making our own, but we're just gonna do the diamond sword and we're gonna put an enchantment on it. So it's like an obsidian sword. So we're gonna say item meta. Oops, I don't know why. Let's go ahead and take that out. Item meta, meta equals sword dot get item meta, meta dot set display name to chat color dot dark purple. And we're gonna call this obsidian, obsidian sword. And there we go, that's gonna look pretty cool, I think. And then we can actually add an enchantment. We're just gonna say enchantment dot damage all, which is sharpness, five, and then false. There we go. And then we can say sword dot set item meta meta, and we are done with that. We are going to create our helmet. So item stack helmet equals new item stack of material dot diamond helmet. And we're gonna put protection on this. So let's say item item meta meta equals helmet dot get item meta and then meta dot set display name. And this is just going to be uh, the same exact that we did before. So obsidian helmet and we're gonna put an enchantment on it. And we're gonna call this enchantment dot protection environmental, which is actually pro just regular protection. So it's gonna be protection four, which is the highest it can go. And then we can just say helmet dot set item meta to meta, and we are done with those. And to make the obsidian, we're just gonna make straight obsidian. So we don't really need to make an item stack until we do that, which I'll show you guys eventually. So we're gonna go ahead and let's do the shapeless first because it's the easiest and we'll get into the shaped which is a little bit more complicated later so we're gonna make a shapeless recipe and we're gonna call this o recipe which is for obsidian and a new shapeless recipe and we make a new item stack of material dot obsidian and then there we go so we're just gonna make one obsidian for the amount of items that we put in there so if you wanted to change that you could just 
add the amount right there but we're just gonna make one for what we're putting in there and I'm gonna try something so we're gonna add ingredient and that's all we have to do is just add ingredient and we're gonna do one of material dot can you make a lava bucket yeah you can so we're gonna make it so you have to put a lava bucket in the crafting table and you probably know what we're gonna add next which is one and we're gonna make this material dot water bucket so we're just gonna make it so you're gonna make one obsidian whenever you put a lava bucket and a water bucket inside of a crafting table so it's pretty pretty weird recipe but you guys get the point of what I'm doing whenever you put a lava bucket and a water bucket and combine them we're gonna get obsidian we're gonna get one obsidian definitely a lengthy process if you actually wanted to use this it's probably faster just to mine it up underwater but you know what whatever we're just making a shapeless recipe for our obsidian defense and that's how you make obsidian and after we are done with that we can say oh recipe dot actually we're just going to add it at the end so don't worry about doing anything yet we're going to make our shaped recipe now and we are going to make this our s recipe first actually we're going to do h recipe the sword one's a little bit more complicated so we're going to do shaped recipe of helmet and you just put the helmet in there and what this is going to do this is going to be a little bit different from the shapeless recipe because we have to shape the way it's going to be laid out first so as you can see there's a method called shape and this is going to go ahead and do this so we're actually oops let's go ahead and do that there we go this is a little bit confusing i'll make it more visually appealing like so there we go so pretty much what this is going to do is shape out our crafting table so as you can see we're going to want to have three slots right here so this is the first row second row and third row and we are going to make symbols symbolize the materials that we want so for the helmet we're just going to do three items across then one right there and one right here and as you can see that's the shape of a helmet a lot like the diamond helmet and there we go so you want to symbolize the blank slots with this space so just make a space for the blank slots don't use like another symbol for material dot air or something that's not going to work so just go ahead and do that and you will be good to go now we can go down here and set our ingredient for our character so we're selecting this character that we used right here and you can use any character you want like you could use like an a or something but it just looks better if you do that and then set it right here so we're going to set it to material dot obsidian and you can use any obsidian material that you want but yeah so now we're done with that and now we are going to do the sword which is going to have two different items that we need so s recipe equals new shaped recipe of sword and down here we are going to shape this except we're going to use two different symbols since we have two different items that we need to make the sword so let's go ahead and go up here and we're going to make it is this i don't know how many this is one two three and then one two three and one two three and up here we can actually say we can use this symbol again for the obsidian and down here let's go ahead and use that for our stick that we're going to use so that is going that's kind of looks like a stick i guess i don't know so now we could go down here and set up our recipes and say s recipe dot set ingredient of this to material dot obsidian again and then we can go down here and say s recipe dot set ingredient and we can say say this is equal to material dot stick and there we go we have officially set all of these up and now all we have left is to say bucket dot add recipe and we just add all these recipes in there so we're going to add o recipe we can just copy and paste this which will be easier than typing it all out i don't know why my thing is messing up boom boom and then we can go ahead and say h recipe and s recipe and there we go we are officially done with this so let's go ahead 
and build this and see if it works in game so there we are obsidian defense and build it and if we look in here it's just pretty basic stuff that we've done in the past there's nothing really in the plugin on yml that we really need to look at anymore and here we are in game let's go ahead and reload as you can see i still have the scoreboards and this hub thing from the last plugin but let's go ahead and try and craft something so i think i put a crafting table down somewhere it doesn't matter let's just go ahead and get one so crafting table let's go ahead and place this down and we can get our materials so let's go ahead and get some obsidian and we can get a stick and we can go ahead and get a water bucket and we can get a lava bucket and there we go let's go ahead and try this out so we're going to try our shapeless recipe first so let's go ahead and put our lava bucket and water bucket in there as you can see it creates obsidian and it doesn't matter where you put them it will always make obsidian so let's go ahead and get get that and as you can see it empties them out so you can actually go back and get some more which is actually pretty cool i didn't know we would i didn't know would do that but you can go and just reuse these at any time you want so let's go ahead and come back over here and let's create our helmet first so just go like this boom there is our protection for obsidian helmet and you can move these down i believe you can't move them down so you would have to create a different shape and make the same item it kind of sucks that they made it like that but it's okay so you just put them like that and you get the obsidian helmet and you can wear it and look like a beast so now that we have that now we are going to try the sword which is a little bit more complicated because we use two different items and as you can see the obsidian sword worked and it has sharpness five on it so let's go ahead and grab that and there we go it's looking good and we have all of our obsidian items that we can make we have our obsidian that we made and we can just mix it with everything we have our sword and we have our helmet so thank you guys for watching that was a tutorial on how to create custom crafting recipes and i will see you guys in the next episode peace